I'm Sir Tap and welcome to Let's Play Tronon or Cronon, Cronon, something like that. Yeah, Cronon probably because it's it's related to time. This is another I Maze game, Eyes Maze game. It is uh, a little unusual because it's it, <coughs> it's closer to a point and click adventure, but it's it's not qu quite a uh, point and click because as you can see here, we can. Oh, it didn't hatch. Um, we can go, we can advance time and see stuff changes. So, and one thing we'll notice, we're missing a time here. So, the first thing we want to do is unlock that time. I believe we... That's just the cutscene. Okay. I know you have to put it on the wall and then take it back off or something. Arg. I know we can get that time thing. There we go. Okay. So th this guy kept 945 in his chest here. Is there just no music for this one? It's a little unusual, but that that's fine. See, so yeah, now we have all of our time slots, and what happens in this one? Nothing all that special other than the sunlight fading. So, as we can see, we've got an egg, and we've got some sunlight, so pretty obviously. Oh, and we've got an adventure, you know, a, you know, a regular point-and-click adventure-style score beater to let us know when we're screwing up and when we're not. See, if we if we leave that open, this guy just flees. I think that actually reduced our score, didn't it? Yeah. So that's a little indication we need to keep this guy in here. Um, I don't remember this completely perfectly, but up uh, oh. takes off with that. Um, hmm. Oh. I don't think that's quite perfect, but. Uh, Oh, right, one thing we need to do here. At a certain time... Let's put that on there. Oh, wait, oh, wait. There we go. Hmm? I'll take that. For whatever reason... There we go. Um... actually not what I wanted to do. Um, oh no. Um, please be the right. Okay, good. Sorry about that. So that is a little tint orb, I guess. That's what we actually want to do. Can we pull this guy back in? I think he's just gone. Um, So as we can see here, that's kind of bad. Can we? Hmm. Um, one thing I really, uh, you know, everybody hates Flash these days, but uh, one thing that is very nice about Flash is that, uh, can I, wait, does that guy just stay suspended like that? Hmm. Um, this game is like, the original release of this game, you know, the intended resolution is a lot lower than it currently is on this, but uh, even though it zoomed in a lot, it's, uh, it looks great because, you know, it's designed all in vectors. So what do we need to do here? Well, let's just see what happens when we get in here. So he, he's, he wants, he looks like he's kind of hungry here, doesn't he? And we've got this, all this food stuff. But oh, and I like this progress. You can see the progression here. We get windy. I I didn't expect that you could take that from him like that. Yeah, he, he ties the rope around his tree and he's gone. And it's gone. See, I I forget if there's anything we need to. Have. Can I put the 
it's down. I know the flooding is bad. Let's not do that. No, he just flees anyway. Oh, right, I need... You set this thing back down. Hmm. So we got water. Now we got some bright sunlight. Wow, you got big. I just I just noticed that. <laughs> and he gets thrown out. I've got a rumbling in my ear today. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I did a quick Google. I think it's some sort of muscle getting all rumbly. Why can I not put you back? I know there's a certain point where I need that mirror to do something specific. something but that change where he sits I need to change where he sits basically will this do it I can get him back down here. Ah, there we go. That's what I was missing. Okay. That's still bad, though. Can you? How do I block the water? Wait, maybe. Maybe it doesn't matter. Um. So now that he's sitting there, actually, that's important. Because that lights that fire there. Oh, the water's damp. Dang it. Um, that needs to not be there. Or not the water's damp, but the... You know what I mean. The thing. Okay. So we got, a, we got everything we need for a fire. Poison, yes. Let's make a poison cake. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Go home to a nice poison cake. Oh, it's burnt. You burnt the poison cake. Dang it. We're getting close, though. Um, hmm. Alright, if I recall, we actually need both of those bottles filled. I put that there we go okay we're making we're making progress now okay so we brought him back let's go back to here put milk in the poison oh wait I already did um but the fire's too hot. Oh, and I like this guy. He gets in there, but he's kind of trapped. Oh, 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 good! The poison loaf is ready! Hooray! 
So yeah, if you can't tell, poisoning him is actually not the ideal outcome. So let's edit our recipe slightly here. Uh, we made a nice low for him, but we still haven't escaped. Hmm. So we're pretty close. One... Arg. Oh, no, it's not then. Arg. So at, at some point we need... Frick, when is it? There we go. Um... Well, not quite, because we haven't escaped. But as you can see, we when you have when you put the cock just right, this little thing comes up and it gives it gives you a little bit extra score. Ah, uh, what the heck am I missing here? Oh, right. Um, at this time point, the mole comes in <coughs> to eat fruit, which is why the water drains. I, I should have explained that earlier. So now the mole has led the the rope thing, and the little duder escapes. And for some reason, we're friends with this guy now because we made him a cake, or like some sort of weird pot overflow cake. I'm not sure. Is is there a food like this? Like that seems this fire also seems a little unsafe. But and the the, the mole gets some cake too. That's excellent. Um, but yeah, th that's a this is a cute little one. Um, could use a little bit of music. The one thing, <laughs> version zero point one s. Uh, one thing I noticed, um, On sort of beats himself up in all of these little blog posts here. Like, even though I took so much time to program its unsatisfactory uh, performance, I think it's difficult. Um, it is a little weird compared to the other games, but I mean, it <laughs> it's a really cool way to do a point and click, because I've, I've never seen another game, you know, mess with time in this particular way. Um, I mean, there's a few other games that, you know, mess with time, but this is a pretty cool one, and, um, I really like it. Uh, I don't think he's made anything quite like this. There was, uh, Grow Maze, which has some other point-and-click elements into it, but not quite like this. But yeah, this is Cronon. Um, I kind of wish he made some other stuff like this, but, uh, oh well. There's some other unusual stuff that's not quite Grow from iMaze that I'll look into, but that's this for now.